Yo, my name is Manny. My name is Amelia. And if you're watching this, then that means our album Eastman is out. It's May 5th. Listen to this music. <laughs> we're, we're super proud of this record. We've been working on it for a long time. It's being released at People, Places Records, some of our really close friends. Uh, and I'm just really stoked for people to, to listen to what we did. Um, essentially, the album is a reimagination uh, of some of Eastman's works. Uh, but for guitar, a ton of guitars, electric guitar, classical guitar, electronics, a bunch of pedals. It was great. It was a really fun time. And Amelia made it sound so great. Oh, thanks. Yeah, um, basically my role in this project was to record, edit, mix, master, reamp, you know, all the things that engineers do. And yeah, I'm just so happy with the result and I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. So the first time I heard about Eastman, I was doing my master's at Yale. Um, there was also like, as you all have probably seen, this huge revival of his music happening now. And um, just when I started learning about him as a person, as a composer, it just really blew my mind how just the way he thought about music, went about music, how it was this communal act of people just creating sound together and exploring that world together. Um, and on top of that, he was always just so authentically himself. There's a lot of beautiful quotes out there and a ton of articles I'm probably gonna mess up, but he was a gay black composer in America during a time where you couldn't openly be that, especially in a field like classical music. Um, and so in part, I thought it was really important to uplift Eastman and his music and also just classical music there's such a diverse body of people who dedicate their lives to this craft and that body of people is never really represented in the music we study the composers we perform and so i think bringing someone like eastman to the forefront who had such an original way of looking at music and creative creating music i just thought it would be you know a really important thing that we should be doing and i wanted to play my own role with Amelia by my side here um, in this whole Eastman revival. I think for myself, being black queer femme, uh, it's really important to uplift the voices of people from my community who have had their music literally scattered to the winds because of who they are, um, period. <laughs> so the whole idea of putting this album out is kind of twofold. One part of it was uplifting Eastman and his music and showcasing that. The other part of it is, well, as a classical guitarist, I don't really feel like my instrument is necessarily being explored to its fullest extent in classical music. And so I wanted to take all my inspirations with guitar and kind of see what I come up with. Because what's so unique about Eastman's music is that it just immediately promotes creativity. Um, and I learned that very quickly when I was looking at the score for Buddha and all the different ways you can interpret this piece. Um, so I wanted to take that freedom and really just run with it and see what kind of world I can create with guitar and classical music. So yeah, album's out. You can listen to it everywhere. All the links you're gonna need are gonna be in the description below. I really hope you dig it. We had such a great time making it despite all the super long studio sessions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we hope you love it as much as we do. And let us know, let us know what you think. Yeah, have fun exploring this album. It's long, it's like, it's a full hour. So yeah, you can sit down. Relax. Be moved. <laughs> and if you want to know my approach to um, interpreting his scores, breaking down Buddha and Gigarilla, just let me know and I could totally make another video on that. But until then, yeah, listen to our album. Thanks. Thank you.